All right, guys, we're going to be taking a serious, serious look at this Polinia card because I think he looks brilliant and his path to glory card was insane. Six foot three, medium high, right footed, three star, four star. He's got 80 pace and 84 dribbling, 79 shooting, 92 defending, 83 passing and 97 physical. Solid player trait, but it doesn't really matter. You know, them traits are quite poor overall. And he can also play centre mid other than CDM. And before we take a look at his in-games... Let's quickly compare him to a team of the season that's currently in the game. That is my favourite player in real life right now. And it is Casemiro. Let's compare the two. So Casemiro has got four more pace. Palini has got four more dribbling. Casemiro has got one more shooting. They've got the same defending. Palini has got one more passing. And the same physical. So three ratings less. And this card is free. And they look ever so similar. So this card... Looks to be great. And as I said, his path to glory card was awesome. He's got 79 for acceleration, 80 for sprint speed. His shooting stats are quite poor. You know, they're okay for a CDM. With 81 attack position and 75 finishing, 92 shot power and 78 long shots being the only greens there. His passing's actually very good. He's got 84 vision going up to 90 short passer and 92 long pass with 72 curve. His agility and balance is poor, which means it could be an issue for old gen. But on new gen, that's very good. We'll explain why shortly. 90 reactions with 86 ball control, 85 dribbling, and 95 composure. Wow. Them stats are brilliant outside of the agility and balance. He's then got 90 inceptions, 89 head accuracy, 93 for defensive awareness, 94 for stand tackle, and 93 for slide tackle. And the physicals are nuts. 90 jumping, 95 stamina, 98 strength, and 97 aggression. He's 6'3", with 90 jumping in that CDM role. He is going to be awesome in game, I think. And chem style for him, I think you're kind of shoehorned into just like one chem style, right? I don't know if we have any in the club. We do. We have nine of them. And I think it's going to have to be a shadow. Now, I know the shadow isn't very good for his defender because his defender is already so high. But that pace boost is awesome. Goes up to 88 pace. And you've got to remember he's lengthy here as well. So that's going to be another good thing about this card. Goes up to 98 inceptions, 93 head and accuracy, 97 defensive awareness, 99 stand tackle, 99 slide tackle, guys. He looks incredible. I'm really excited to use him. I think he's going to be an absolute monster on new gen. We'll see what he's like on old gen. We're going to be playing him in the lone CDM role in the 4 one 2 2 narrow, as you can see there. We're also reviewing Matoma as well right now. So if you want to go check out that review, that will be on the channel. But guys, let's get into a few games with Polinia. See if he's any good. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. All right then, guys. Live game with Polinia. Let's see what he can offer us. And, man, he, because of lengthy, he is going to be an absolute monster. Like, he just is. He just is going to be a monster. He can track all the way. He can drive out as well. Look. Oh, he's, he is, like... He doesn't have the body type to suggest he's like going to be super, super strong in game. But let me tell you, he is super, super strong in game. And he can move as well, man. He can really, really move because he's lengthy. I mean, yeah, look at that. Zinchenko! Good save, good save. Because he can move as well, it's really helpful for driving out from the back. And that's like a, a big plus to this card. And, uh, you know, he, 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 his shooting isn't bad. If you wanted to do a power shot with him, you probably could. And it would be okay. Um, but you really shouldn't be doing that too much with him. Oh, my God. He is an absolute animal. I didn't want that play a lot there, but fair enough. Can we score with the king? And he moves well, man. He moves well. For a big man, he is a mover, lads. Truly is a mover. He's just going to run here. Oh, no, he's not. Fair play. Pliny has got you again. Like, he is too good. He is too strong. Is 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 the first thing we need to consider is how, how strong he is and how valuable that is on this game. He, he just feels like an absolute unit. I love Casemiro's team of the season, right? And I've used it a fair amount. But I'll tell you something. that There is no chance this Casemiro is better than Pelinia on new gen. There is just no chance. He's going to get another goal. No, he's not. He might still, though. Come, come, come back, please, Polinia. Find that pass in there. I mean, yeah. Like, he, he's got it all. And you can see as well, guys, because I'm actually trying to get him on the ball a little bit. He doesn't move bad, does he? He, he doesn't move too bad. 
Um, obviously, you can feel the lengthy a lot more now when you have when you have got the ball, um, which we should be able to see here as I start running with him, right? I mean, I, I think that's a lot more easy to see, but this from midfield is just disgusting. It just is disgusting. What a pass as well. He, he, he's a baller, guys. And this guy's a good player, by the way. This guy is a very decent player. And Polinia is literally running the show. Look at how good his pass... I mean... Jesus. His passing's literally ridiculous. Oh, I'm dribbling. I know he's been tackled, but wow. Nice, Polinia. Man, honestly, this Polinia feels absolutely unbelievable. For somebody that's got such poor agility and balance, the way he moves is just disgusting. Honestly, disgusting. What a little pass that is, too. It's plenty of again. Let's see what his pass is like. Long range passing. That through ball there. Yeah, very easy for him. All right, then, guys. Time for the live game on Old Gen with. Oh, my God. I almost said Paqueta. Polinia, I mean. Game with Polinia on Old Gen. This guy's got a good team, so it's going to be a really good test for our man in that loaded CDM role. And, yeah, let's see what we can do. If this guy wants to ready up, of course. Any time today, buddy. There we go. Nice. Okay. Right. We're going to kick off today or... Yeah, we are. Nice. Okay. Here we go then. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, thank God I moved the keeper there. Well, Polini just couldn't keep up, could he, with uh, Eusebio there? Just could not keep up. Here we go. Let's see if we can find this. See, that's a lovely ball, isn't it? A really nice pass. There we go again. Yeah, hold that, Casemiro. I love you, but hold that. Plenia. Oh, it's part. Oh, my word. Go and check out the Matoma review, guys. Go and check that review out. Oh, my word. Plenia has won the ball back again there. Look at that. Do you know what? His sprint boost isn't even bad. And that four-star weak foot, which we always preach about on this channel, coming up trumps again here. You can see how good he is with that weak foot. Being able to spray passes on both feet. Jesus Christ. And the thing is as well, um, why would you pay the money for Casemiro when you're just getting the same thing out of this card? I mean, he, he is so, so goddamn good. Oh, how have I not got the ball back there? Or there. That was really unlucky. He's just going to drive there, isn't he? Yeah, good read. Going to Polinia here. No. Nice. Player lock nearly costed me there. Oh, hello, Polinia. It's a lovely pass as well. Unlo unlucky not to get uh, anything going there, in my opinion. No, he's going to go on the inside. Oh, he's nearly got it as well. Nice. Do you know what? Another thing is about this Polinia, guys. I think he would make a great centre-back. In fact, I'm certain he would make a great centre-back. Oh, nearly, nearly. Just trying to get away there, trying to get the pressure gone. Let's see what he's like in the... Oh, no, no, let's not try that. Little dink in there. Oh, what's what's that all about? Did you guys see that? You're like, he delayed the pass for so long. His drivens are really nice, though. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Oh. Keep it with Polinia. He's very good at tracking back and, like... Doing like you're just all your work for you. Well, his jockeying isn't even bad, considering the fact we're on a uh, old gen. His jockeying is quite good, all things considered. Easy, easy. Nice, good defending there. So that you can just control Polinia and then just do the rest yourself. Uh, or let the AI do the rest itself. And make sure you just hold the second man press down and getting the job done there. And it works really well. Oh, I don't like how far up the pitch he is. I want him to sit a little bit deeper. Kind of like where he was there. Even when we are countering and stuff. See if he can find that, eh? Yeah, his passing's really clean. His passing's really, really clean. See? Every pass is pinpoint. That's all hell. Oh. Still got the ball, though. So that's still a good pass. You can see, man. Like, you can just do this all the time with him. Back into him. Kind of... Look around the pitch, see where your options are. Bang, big one into him, and then have the shot. And that's really nice because it can just go through him and then look for the driven. Bang, back into him. 
track, look around, look at that, guys. I mean, what more can you say? What more can you say? Plinia can move, man. That is a crazy bit of dribbling for somebody that's got really poor dribbling. Look at that. That's really nice dribbling. Oh. Matoma, what a goal that is, man. All right, then, guys. So, review done on Palinia. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's all I've got to say, guys, honestly. He is better on new gen. Um, definitely. He is close to a 10 out of 10 on new gen. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And the thing that makes him so good on new gen is because he's lengthy and we've applied the shallow. So, he's got 88 pace. Feels like 110 pace when he's on the ball because of that lengthy um, accelerate type. You know, his shooting's not very good. You will score the old goal with him if he pops up in the box. Um, he's got okay shooting. His passing is brilliant. His driven passes are really good. His free balls are really good. His uh, player lock passes are really nice too. And of course, I don't think we mentioned it too hard in the intro, but that four-star weak foot is brilliant to have on this card, you know. Really does help him feel clean in that CDM role. I think you need to use this card in the lone CDM because that's where you'll really, really feel how good he is. The vision is good. The, uh, the short pass is good and the long pass is good as well. Don't be worried about his passing. And if you are, you're just not very good at passing, honestly, because it, it's really, really good. Dribbling is actually awesome for this card on new gen. We'll get into old gen shortly. And, you know, he, he moves really nicely. He moves a lot better than I was expecting him to feel and move with that agility and balance. He is uh, quite good on the ball, can turn relatively quickly. And I thought that was quite a nice addition to this card. And of course, you've got the defending and the physical. Um, he doesn't really have the body type to feel really physical, but my God, is he he is so, so strong. Uh, it's unbelievable how strong he feels. Now, as I said, he doesn't really have the body type, but he really does have like a force field around him. It is bonkers, and the aggression is nice to have as well. And then you move on to the actual defending the stats. His tackles are silly. If he tackles the ball, you best believe you're getting that ball back and it's not going to bobble off you and go out for a throw-in or a corner or go back to your opponent. They are sticking to this man and you're going to be able to drive out with him as well. And that is the other thing that we'll talk about to leave new gen is the ability to drive out with this card is really good. You do step overs, you just drive into a space with him. He moves so quick. They can really advance for a counter-attack and stuff. And it's awesome. This card is going to get a 10 out of 10 rating for that CDM role on new gen for me. I think one of the best on the game and could also play centre-back very comfortably too. And, you know, he is up there with Casemiro. Probably better than Casemiro. And I've used both extensively now. I think I do prefer this Palinia. As we move to old gen, it's all basically the same. Um, other than the fact that I was, once again, more surprised with his dribbling over on uh, old gen. He moved really nicely. His, his left stick dribbling was good for someone that has that agility and balance, which I just wasn't expecting. And yeah, he can so somewhat left stick Sticky dribble. Oh, I know. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Of course, he feels better on new gen because of length fee. You don't have that over here, but he's still worth doing on old gen. Uh, just not going to have the length fee, so the shallow is even more important over here. And I think he probably makes a better centre-back on old gen than he does a CDM. But I definitely still would go and get this card for sure, guys, on old gen. He's going to get an 8.5 out of 10 on old gen. Awesome card, guys. I think he's really fun. Matoma Review is already out on the channel. Go check that one out. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, subscribe to the review. But guys, it's going to be it for me for now. Let's take care.